I got the lights, I need some background rolls so that I can pull whenever I need to make drawings or photography and video work on that side of the desk. I got these two broomsticks that will support the white and black rolls. I removed the plastic caps and cut the rounded tops off. Then I found some scraps from the loft bed structure and cut them to sides to make the sides of the rack. There was no reason to use such thick material besides the fact that the broomsticks were a bit too short for this particular purpose so I needed that extra thickness so that they can enter inside the blocks. I will have a spring on one side inserted on a hole that will support the sticks. I laid out the place for the holes and used a forcing bit to drill shallow holes on one of the sides. For the other side, I measured the height of the spring plus 5 millimeters to make sure that the stick won't fall off when inserted in the hole. I prepared some epoxy glue and placed the springs in the center of the holes, making sure that they were as vertical as possible and let it rest for a few hours. Let's test it out. Seems good, so let's try the white paper roll and see if it works. Now I'm going to screw the blocks to the bed frame. I'm just laying out the place for the screws. This tiny adjustable square is really handy to keep the distance consistent in all sides. I used a drill bit that is the size of the head of the screw so they can travel deeper because they were too short. Then I finished up the drilling with a smaller bit that is closer to the diameter of the threads of the screws. Because my drill press has an annoyingly short travel, I needed to finish up the holes with a cordless drill. Now let's put this in place. For the black background roll, I used some flannel that I had, but you can certainly use any other thick black fabric that doesn't have much light reflection. I cut it to size and had to sew the borders to prevent them from creating a mess all over the desk with the fibers falling apart. This procedure is very straightforward, just folding the border twice and run the needle over it. I'm very clumsy at sewing and run out of patience very quickly, so please don't pay too much attention to my hands. When beginning and ending the sewing, I run the needle back and forth and this way the thread locks itself.
The bobbin located under the needle just ran out of thread, so I need to refill it. Okay, let's continue. Here you can see me going back and forth by pressing the reverse button while hitting the pedal. It's time to apply the fabric to some old cardboard tube and I chose hot glue to make this quick and simple. Roll it all up and try it out in place. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the mounting system for the camera. What I have here is a tripod ball head that is attached to this beam with a little piece of threaded rod. I inserted the nut on the wood so I can screw the tripod head securely upside down. This tripod ball head was sent to me by Banggood.com and it's very high quality for the price. It only costs around 20 euros and this thing is heavy and made out of metal which makes it surprisingly good for the price. Everything slides very smoothly. It comes with a quick release plate that is also made out of metal, but I never use it because turns out that my tripod plate actually fits really nicely in the ball head, so I never have the inconvenience of changing plates during filming. Check out the description for more info on the subject. So this is what the camera looks like mounted, and a flip screen comes really handy in situations like this one. I'm just placing some random objects here and making some action to give you an idea of how this might work. Changing to the black background that needs to be ironed and clean and let's add some darkness to the blacks in post-production just to make the background less noticeable. Let's go back to the regular color correction. And that's it for now. You will probably see me using this camera setup a few times in the future, and I hope this inspires you to make something cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Ciao, ciao.